knee straight. Yeah, and you point your heel at the ceiling. How the hell would you remember? That's the one she forgot, I know that. Because the other one's real simple. Did, what did you say about the, the knee? The first one, you bend the knee, you just pull the leg all the way as far as you can. For yeah. a count of ten. D this way. Uh -huh. No, you hold it up, you hold it under your knee. Yeah, I think I remember that one, yeah. Uh -huh. And the other one, you keep your leg straight and you hold it up like that. The first one is bent. Uh, the second when your leg is straight and you hold it all up. Well, I mean, uh, I'll demonstrate. I'll get on the floor and demonstrate. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Just those two. <laughs> just those. Just those two. You, do, you still doing workout videos? Huh? Uh, is Nikki still making workout no, videos no, with the 101 year old grandmother? Before Nick went over the seas. When Nikki filmed you dancing, no. uh, break dancing. Oh, yeah. Where are we going to go? Over, actually. That was a long time ago. All the entertainment is right here, pal. But when I go up here. And I can't wait to one of them your One of them your knee is bent, and the other one your, your leg is straight. Wait. That's it. The leg is straight, the other one. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. If, oh. and you, if you've you got a new prospective son-in-law, or if yeah. he's on the yeah. <laughs> plane, uh -huh. plane out of town. Well, I shall do that as soon as I get up there. <laughs> Did uh, Marty, awesome. Marty, did you get to meet Isaac? Yeah, I, I didn't. I was so shocked to see him, you know. I did, I don't see the Is he handsome? Is he a handsome guy? He's better looking than I thought he was going to be. Oh, he's very neat. Nice. I mean, he, he was handsome and he was neatly dressed. Okay. What, is she, what the heck is she ever going to do? She, I don't what, know. What would you do? I have no idea. I'd be stunned. I know, I thought of that later. We were all kind of negative toward him. We don't even know the guy. We're all like, ah! But that's because he dumped her first. Yeah. Yeah. I was in the well, she wasn't too happy about it. I was in that think. you know, when I got engaged. And, uh, I don't know what happened. My mother fixed it all up. <laughs> but, uh, what, year, what year did you get engaged? Oh, I was just uh, out of high school and I went to Detroit. Nineteen twenty-nine. Hmm? Nineteen twenty-nine. Engaged the who? You mean you didn't get engaged to dad? You got engaged to somebody else? Down in Chicago. Oh, that's when I was Were in you Chicago. Were you a <laughs> She got engaged to somebody down there. You, you did? No, I, I, I got engaged, but then I came home for a vacation for something. And my mother never left me go back anymore. Hey, that's like Carolyn. You know that? <laughs> Didn't leave me Carol go back Carolyn anymore. was engaged before uh, I met her. Really? Uh, some Canadian. And I cried for days. I cried and cried and cried. And Mom, oh, my mother felt terrible. She said, well, I'm so sorry. That's from British Columbia. But you know, that's she the best thing nice she did. She could have out there. That's the best thing she did. You say that no. He was Italian. He was probably in the mafia. He, was, he came from Italy. Yes, I with know. Joe Bertoli and uh, oh, Louisa's, money, flashy rings. Louisa's husband. Sure. They came from the Just same country. The they, 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 but they were. Uh, I, I, I do question them because they did. Very yeah. nice. What's his first name, Al? Huh? Oh, Joey. <laughs> Joey. Yeah, I know. Who are you? Yeah. You were in Chicago during the Al Capone in, in days? Oh, sure. Did you go to speakeasies? I, I went to so many places where it, oh. Did you go to speakeasies? I, oh, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I used to go to one place, the Blackstone, right on, on uh, the Main Street in Chicago. Michigan Avenue? Yeah. And uh, right by the, um, what's that big store? Oh, what's the big store there? Uh, Several stories of shopping. Macy's? No, it's not. It's Chase no. <clears throat> Dayton's? No. 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 Darn it, I can't think of the name. You'll it's think of it. Bloomingdale? No. 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 <clears throat> well, I should go there almost every day at lunch, you know. It wasn't Macy's? It's no, right, I, right she, by the school where I went. Tell them about the night you went to the theater Amber with Crombie. your girlfriend. Was it the night before yes. they got Dillinger? Yeah. And the Crombies? Yes. No. Huh? My no. <clears throat> Dillinger was killed that night. Tell him about that. Yeah, but I, I didn't see it. I, no, but you heard the But sirens. I heard it. And you'd you been know. there the night before. And then, 
the Biograph. It was a theater right by where I, right where I live, right where I lived. You know, from that. This is gold. <laughs> you know, I, w I, w I was there at school for nine months and well, I skipped classes. I did lots Tell of Tell them about the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Oh. What did you do? I did. Uh, I, I tell um, I'm trying to think of Frank. Oh, Frank, the one he lived, you know, where I was staying. I said, that's enough for me. I, you know, he wanted to show daughter. me more, and I said, no, no, they I don't want to show daughter, don't worry, And it wasn't too there. far from where I lived. Ask her the you name know. of the big store in Chicago. What's the name of that big store in Chicago? <laughs> Marshall Fields. Marshall oh, yeah, Marshall Fields. Ah, yeah. that, that I was is there, it. I was there a lot. And then there was a hotel. <laughs> Hotel next door, and I forgot the, the name of that. The, the Palmer and I, Palmer Hotel. Palmer. Yeah, yeah. So and I used to go. To, I knew all the girls that had boutiques at Etheridge, you know. We used I knew to. Them all. <laughs> our our uh, layover hotel in Chicago was the Palmer House That's for years. I've been there. there on my Oh, I went to Chicago. See, I was right downtown. I you should take Monty to Chicago, and I would meet you there. Carolyn and I will meet you there. <laughs> I take a, I take a bus and we go out to there. the southern part of <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> and all the people from Calumet. Oh, like whatever. I would <laughs> never do all the things I did. <laughs> Daughter-in-law. Son, and her auntie, mother, Auntie Jan, I stayed with them. She used to be at upstairs, at sitting by the window praying, waiting for me to get home. <laughs> All my time. Auntie Jan? No, 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 no. no not Auntie. Oh, oh. Emma, uh, <coughs> Emma. 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 Auntie Emma. Emma. She was so nice. Emma. That's where I stayed when I, I went to school. There. But I, oh, geez, I went and you said to me that you were in uh, dance marathons. Oh, lots, of them. lots of dance marathons. My goodness. You, you need to set this up we and just. Crazy. You're getting it yeah, I went I, horseback I, there's, riding. There's hours of stuff off. there. Wait a minute. You went horseback riding once, right? Yeah, because I fell off. And horse. you fell off and you never went again. No. And, uh, and we went. <laughs> then we went to uh, some college there. They had a big uh, pool. Oh, this is and I never stuff. swam well in my life. And somebody got hurt. No, somebody died going into the pool. Boy, I never went there again. <laughs> Why you were? What was that college? Well, I don't remember. Loyola, Northwestern. Northwestern, Loyola. It's pretty, pretty close. There. In, in inner city. I, and I had a cousin that was a personal maid to the Woodruffs, and they were billionaires. They had all the banks in. in uh, Chicago, and I used to go up. I used to be, I'd go to sleep there some weekend, and they were up on the 35th floor. And boy, I, she was so nice. I used to do her hair. You know whose hair I used to do? <laughs> I was just learning, you know, with uh, the spearmint gum. This is the. Wrig Wrigley, Wrigley. Spearmint gum. Oh, but the Wrigley family. Yeah. But yeah. She, her apartment was there, and I used to go there and do her hair. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Tell them about taking the trains to all the dances in Illinois. Yeah. Oh, dance. I went to a lot of beautiful ballrooms. All the big bands. Party what, shop. what bands? Who did you hear? Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not married. <laughs> well, lots of them. There was one right downtown. Uh, <laughs> Right by where Gertrude, that's the school I went to, Gertrude, Gertrude Hill. Beauty school. Yeah, and there's some bands that played in that area. Why do you take the train? Oh my I God. I took a train a lot of times. I went to Coal City. Where else? We had relatives in Coal City when I used to take the train out there. Oh, and I think of it now by myself. <coughs> you know, I did a lot of crazy things. You said you got a hat? And an outfit every weekend, you'd buy yeah. those little hats called my hat. the those, ones that are fitted to your head. Those hats that they make, you know. You were a flapper. Exactly. <laughs> she was. You should see pictures of her, huh? She was a flapper. Flapper. They are flappers and floozies, the same thing. 
No, no the Charleston, man. The Charleston? Huh? You know how they do the Charleston. I did a lot of things. A lot of dances. <laughs> lots of dances. <laughs> oh, my God. What did you say? Yeah, hey, uh, your, your voice is coming in on this, too, you know. When I came back to Canada, everything changed. Carolyn's going to love this. <laughs> and shortly after that, I met John. You met John at an ice cream parlor, right? Yeah, I got a picture of it. I got the book, you know, of old Calumet. There's Jimmy. And um, mm -hmm. I got a, a book. I was going to take, I thought if I'd show Chris and Armando where I met John. We bought that for you for your Yeah, you did, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I found it. It's right there. Sumi's, uh, not Sumi's. I forgot his name. And Gemma, they owned it. And do you remember when we went to the Calumet Theater? Yeah. And you got up on that table so you could see that picture of John in the band and his brother, or his cousin. No, my dad. Oh, you, I'm sorry. It was it, your dad. It was my dad. And yeah. his brothers. But it wasn't the picture I was looking for. Oh. The picture I'm looking for is about this big. There's 130 play the orchestra. Wow. And we had it home in Vicky's. I think when Vicky, when we had a sale at the house, somebody stole it, and it was the only one Mark we the had. Hook. And see, <laughs> some man at uh, Houghton wanted it for the museum down there. Yeah. And I told him that's when I found out it was stolen, and I have yet to find it. And it's the only one we had. It was 130 oh. members. My dad was you know, played in it. He traveled the old around the United States with it. And I what was the name of that band? Calumet Heckle. It was a 130, and Mr. Cook was the conductor. And they had a guest conductor. Didn't they have a famous conductor come Ooh, in? A lot of them. And who was the one people. that was really famous? There was one, and there was a famous uh, carriage. He was a famous, famous mm -hmm. actor. But I thought you told me John Philip Sousa was here. Yeah. And uh, what's the other one? Uh, and he and he conducted the band. Oh, and you and, saw that? Oh yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I saw all those. And uh, all the all the players. The, What's the, going on, man? Uh, it's amazing. My dad played in the pit, you know, at the Carriage Theater for 17 years, and we used to go every week to see all those plays. I used to love going to the Carriage. Wasn't that? Yeah, it was grand. It was grand. For 17 years, but then when the chocolate <clears throat> talkies came in, they. You know, <laughs> And you said you got to meet a lot of the actors and actresses. Yes. She met Lily and Gish. Oh, I met a lot of them. Lots of them. Who else did you meet? Oh, I, I couldn't tell you everything I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I met a lot of people, a lot of actors. Every those plays are really nice. Sita Barra, did you meet her? Who? Sita Barra. You named people to me. John Gish? No, John. Oh, I, I need. What's you know, I should have had a book on Gilgit? No. I don't know. I, and written everything down, see, but I never was did. Was Lillian Gish? No, I saw Lillian Gish. No, we're good. Nope. Thank okay, you. Yeah, thank you. Bringing back a lot of memories. Wow. That's talking. That's what you and, were trying to do here. And I'm, um, <laughs> you know, I forgot. I forgot so much. And I'm forgetting more every day. So the band played during the, the movies, but the movies were silent films, right? Yeah. Hey. But uh, it was just the orchestra, uh, I don't think. Was there my, there my, was only uh, not too many, you know. Changing the subject, when were you, uh, how old were you when Calumet had that really bad fire? What? The, the, that fire? The fire, the really oh, bad fire. I was fire. young. I was young yet. Really young. That's a good thing. You'd have been and my mom and I were supposed to go that night, and um, my cousin Louise. No, you're talking about the Italian hall yeah, disaster. Uh -huh. now. We were supposed yeah. to go. She was supposed to go. And to my her. dad was lucky; he wasn't there. How old were you then? Playing that time, you know. Or roughly, how old were you then? Well, I was just a young kid, a young, real young. It happened a long time ago. Auntie Louise, well, her cousin Louise was supposed yeah. to go with her family, but she got sick. How many people died in that fire? Like 100? 76? Auntie Mary got sick. 
and that's how we, we didn't go. Mostly children. We didn't wow. go. And they were children, and they were supposed to go, but Auntie Louise got the flu or something. My so the whole family Auntie, stayed home Auntie and missed Mary. the disaster. So how old were you when you went on your first train ride? Do you remember your first train ride? Oh, I, I used to go from Calumet down the, uh, uh, there was a train going in and out. I used to go to Milwaukee a lot on that in Chicago, you know, because I took a lot of trips to Chicago. Usually with friends? With or, friends? Yeah, usually with friends? Or? I, was, I was living with the Rossies in, in Chicago, and uh, they were from Cali, Calumet. They used to be oh, in Varsadis, nice. then they... You live by Wrigley Field. Empty, We're covering a lot of ground here, but how's your lady doctor friend? Oh, I haven't seen her in a long time. Really? They said yeah. she was going um, almost a year. But I, I, I got to find out. Dr. Limbeck? Yeah. She didn't leave the area, did she? Got no, to be good. real good friends. What did she operate on you for? This is just a couple years ago. Um, was it gallstones? She had colon cancer. Yeah, oh. And she operated on you, and then you found out that you guys were born in the same town, mm -hmm. same, same street. Same house. Was it the same house? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in what what area of Calumet? In Rambletown. 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 Hey, was there a bum yeah, was there a Bumbletown farther up? Yeah. 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 Bumbletown is more. out of uh, Calumet. Yeah, Carolyn saw that, and she said Bumble. She said Bumbletown, and I said that's not where yeah. Marty. I said yeah. Marty grew up on the other side of Calumet, uh -huh. Rambletown. Yeah. My grandma lived in uh, the other part, you know, where, where, where and uh, Dr. Limbeck said she used to go and visit my aunt, well, like, you know, when she was a little girl. Well, like, the Keweenaw was a whole different place when you were young, wasn't it? It was just really, really a boom town. Tell, tell Mark about Electric Park. Ooh. Electric Park was a I got, I got pictures of my book, too, and every. My dad played. And I went there and danced. Where was it? What is, what is it? It's There's your project. I know. It's, 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 it's still no. there. The building if is Maria still there. Maria can do a story of Josemina. A lot of people go and see Tell it. Tell them what it is. What yeah. is Electric Park? What is it? What was it? What was it? A dance, dance hall. Full of lights? Yeah. So it's not a park? It's right in the park. Oh, so it's it's still there. Park? The, the building is and still there. And it's between there. Hancock and uh, Calumet. Yeah. Somebody, not too long ago, somebody said they went there. We should go up there and take a look at There's it. I don't know where it is. Called Electric Park Road. You know where it is? Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is in that area. We should get, well, Carolyn would love to see we that. We used to go there every She would love to hear this. My dad played there all the, all the time. She said I they jump on the train? I followed my dad around quite a bit when he uh, played, you know. They oh. jump on the train and go there and... When she moved into this building, right below her was Mary, what was the woman's name who lived right below you? Hmm? Frida Gilbo was six months older than Marty. Do you know that and Frida, Frida used to take the train up there. And, and we used to go to the same places. Yep. Didn't know each other. They both That's went, the lady. Is she still alive? No. no. They she both went she to was Carmi Carmi Bruce. Carmi's Myers. mother. We sat together and we just talked and talked and we used to go to the different dance halls. Oh, at the same time. And at they didn't the know same each other. time and mm -hmm. never knew each other. And they both mm -hmm. always went to electric car. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. And we met, you know, and so sh I was shocked to hear that she was in all. We sat a whole day out in the lobby there talking. <laughs> I was telling her daughter all about it. And I hadn't seen her in a long time. I used to see her pretty often, you know, her daughter. Frida wrote cookbooks and regular and books about her life, and mm -hmm. Frida, yeah. Yeah. I bought Maddie one of her books when she turned 100. She, oh, she was a nice lady. She was so, so nice. She was 100 at one night, I think, when she died. I 100 think. and a half, I think. Oh, uh-huh. And you, all, you passed her by. Mm -hmm. You went right past her. Let's go for a still. I, uh, what are you doing? I'm recording this. Oh, you are. Yeah, you're on video. You're oh gonna be. Lord. You're gonna be famous. <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> so it's Mikey. <laughs> Adeline, Lynn's gonna write your book. I take such terrible pictures. Lynn's gonna write your book. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to get over here where I... Yeah, no, I know. I'm trying to get the... No street, no street clear. Hey, Marty, that's good. Look right here. Just right, just right here, my hand. A little bit. Oh, wait, there you go. <laughs> well, the the light the light was catching your glasses. The what? The light from the, outside. The sunshine. Off your yeah. Hey, a little longer, we can have lunch. I'm enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> you want to go to the course and hit some uh, chips no, and putts or some range balls? Want to go to the harbor and play today? No. I'll and pick I'm you up. Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy, everything changed. How did you meet John? Ice cream climber. John, John is her husband of how many years were you guys married? Well, you're still married. 63. Right? 63 years together. 73 and John years passed. together. They couldn't oh, get oh for 73 years. years together. 11 years. 11 years with the depression. I went, I went with John 70 years. Exactly 70 years. Wow. When I met him. And how old were you when you had and Mikey? We went Years. And you had Mike when you were 37, 39, 38? 39, I thought. Yeah. That's a story, too. You ain't kidding. <laughs> That's the biggest surprise of my life. You care, everybody else in town. You care to share it? And everybody in town knew I was pregnant, but I didn't. Yeah, you went in for surgery or something, right? I went in for Easter. Oh my gosh, that's right. And when I was, when they opened me up, Dr. McQueen from Lorium, he said, my heavens, this girl is pregnant three months. This young, this young lady, he said, is pregnant three months. Everybody went crazy. <laughs> I see better me in the future. <laughs> and I didn't know it for 12 days. They didn't, they didn't allow me to... Um, oh, really? You got a scar? Magic scars. They yeah. didn't allow Magic. me... You got cut during the... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how he got that. I don't think they got didn't cut. allow me to move. I was in for the hospital how long? Because to keep the uterus quiet. In order... You said two weeks at least. Probably was. Uh, and they yeah. didn't tell her she was pregnant. Everybody in town knew she was pregnant but her. That's yeah. how it worked out. And you know, the first I put my butt up and I said, well, hot, and do you have room for another one? I had 35 shots in my butt. Oh, <laughs> hey. And they were. <laughs> when did they tell you you were pregnant? They didn't want me to know. They wanted me to be quiet. Yeah, but when, oh, at what point did they tell you? When you were released? Or? When, they, when I was released. Who told you? My mother, and the doctor was with her. You know. And here he is. Hey, baby. Here I am. Here he is. He's living color. <laughs> and everybody used to want to My see, buddy. see him. You know. <laughs> there was an older Italian. Yeah, yeah. oh, sure. There used to be a, a bunch of Italians and women. And I used to have them in the stroller and I had them. And they used to, I always had him dressed real cute. Mm -hmm. And they wondered how he kept had kept his tam on. He never took it, touched his tam. Mm -hmm. He always had Slap. everything, yeah. everything, everything <laughs> matched. And these. You, you were a sartor. You, you, you <laughs> were nothing but t shirts and, and sweatpants. You know, <laughs> and you know. I remember you used to dress, I remember you used to dress up pretty town, good. Everybody would be I, in the, with the store. He's Italian. Oh, le proprie belle. Oh, he used to say, oh. Mikey used to get new cars. I always had a new car. The one I, the one I, the one I like besides the one I bought from you was was the gray one. What kind was that? Grand Am. We were trying to we were trying to think of that the other day. I was telling the boys about uh, the Tempest. And then I couldn't figure out what the muscle car version of the Tempest was, and then it, somebody yeah, figured out GTO. Your sister, your sister used to race in the Tempest, wasn't that the green thing? No, it was gold. Yeah. I didn't race in the Tempest. It, it was a, it was a, yeah, it was a, it was a brownish gold. Tempest was long gone. Tell her, tell them about the day you had Michael. The day he was born. Oh, everybody, everybody was. Uh, when I walked in, when I walked in the hospital. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Do this and make it easier. I, mean, I, I uh, forget about that feature. When they found out, 
they notified the hospital that they had to hurry to get me in there, you know. When I got to the hospital, everybody was on the stairway. Nurses, everybody, doctors, because they never had anything like that happen before. And I marched up there, you know. <laughs> and, and what were you wearing? I wore a size nine. Jesus Christ. Sundress. Oh, I've heard this. But what color? I it, can still see that flowers, dress. white with flowers? What color was it? A, a beige with a little print in it, you know. Yeah, and you know, remember that. I don't have a picture of it. Yeah. You know, there's, it's too bad that I didn't have a picture of all my... Bodies of fashion we, we didn't have Our cameras. We didn't have cameras at all they like they have today. So, you know, when it was really too bad. When Maria Mazzetti was at Mom's, yeah, he was a, when Maria Mazzetti was at Mom's, and when I Mom says, where did you get that top? Remember that? <laughs> Remember Maria Mazzetti's top the other day, her blouse? The On the 4th of July. Oh. Maria's, you asked her where she got it. She, You noticed how nice it was. She bought it in Italy. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I noticed her. I know. I'm yeah. like that. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> you got an eye for it. I stop people, if I see somebody, something I like, I stop what them, the ask them where they bought where they bought it. And when she said Italy, and she said, I bought two, and I paid $20 each for each That's one. That's what she said? Uh-huh. Oh, two for a She paid $20, I think. I think said. she paid 200 Because I was ready to ask her if she could get me a couple. <laughs> I stopped lots of people that sometimes ask what they were and where they got it. This is I do the truth. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> this is uh, breakfast with a mod at Armando's on the Main Street of Houghton, July 10th, is it? Is it? Or 11th? Let me check my calendar. It's one of, one of July, the, 10th. July 10th, 2011. Mod is 102 and a half. And a, and a I've half. never seen yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> if you press that silver button, even while you're recording, it'll take a still. It's the tenth. It's I can play that back for you. Look at your battery, then. What's it? Is it showing? It's a red. No, that, that's the picture you took processing the still. Oh, okay. All right. Then I went with a, a guy who was from Spain. Yes, he was a neighbor that lived across the street on Halstead. And then when I left, I, I left him. Oh, you were a floozy. <laughs> I, was, I was not. And, and you know what the picture? You know where it is? My cigarettes. I burned that. Tell. You know what? All those pictures I had? I <laughs> what I burned. Tell everybody. You, you told me you, you, you use that every day. I want to know every, every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? picture. Oh, he's you just in a picture. In his the life. picture he, <laughs> he burned. Oh, my God. <laughs> when, when did I burn pictures? <laughs> what do you mean? There's a picture of, of we, were, we were standing in front of the church, and he had to have confirmation. Any yeah, we're trying to get my reaction. A beautiful suit. A beautiful corduroy suit. He had a corduroy suit. Oh, okay. I had a beautiful blue. I don't, I don't, I never burned a picture. Blue uh, dress. I want to go and I could, when I moved here, I couldn't find all those pictures. He burned them because they, they, were, in the, they were in a box. <laughs> the, the ones, were in the ones box. where, where so you Gary and I were playing them? with trucks. And we where had, did they go? We were little. We only had shirts on. Where did they go? Just to show them everybody. I love oh, that yes. picture. Yeah, well, I didn't like the fact that you pulled them out all the time. Yeah. He picked up the, I had them in shoe boxes, you know, all these pictures. And when when we moved, when I moved here, he threw them all away. Mike never threw away pictures <laughs> or burned any. We never burned any. I gotta go check Oscar. Well, where are they? Well, I don't know where they went, but Mike never burned them. Okay. Okay. Should we continue this uh, another time? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> we'll do some more. Camera. Gee, I think I talked enough. That was okay. wonderful. How do you turn it on? Just press the red button.